today we are going to sew the peplum top and skirt in Clothes 3D. And not only that, I will fit them onto the avatar. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, before we begin sewing the top and skirt, first we want to bring the pattern into clothes. To bring the pattern into clothes, first I'm going to go to File and then select Import as the XF. Okay, click on that. Uh, next, we are going to select my pattern here, which is peplum top and skirt. After that, I will click on open. Okay, right here by default, I have low types open and scale, auto scale, which is perfect. Do not rotate, maintain original. All right, so important part here under option, we want to check this import pattern annotation, auto trace as internal line, swap cutting line and sewing line, include notches, and ratio box to check. Now I'm going to click on okay. Okay, there is the pattern. I have peplum top and peplum skirt. So we are going to sew this pattern onto, we are first going to place this pattern onto the avatar and then sew it, or sew and then place them onto the avatar, whichever is first. Okay, the question here, we want to either sew the entire top or sew one half of the top. So what we want to do, I prefer sew one half of the top and one half of the skirt, okay? However, in this case, we want to sew the skirt and fit them first, which is easier when we fit the skirt and the top together. However, no worries, it will show you how to fit the skirt onto the avatar, either layer zero, layer one, you can lay on top one another without having any problem, okay? So first of all, let's prepare the pattern. To prepare the pattern, I'm going to simply remove half of the pattern because then we don't have to sew the entire pattern at one. All right, so first I'm going to use this edit pattern tool and I'm going to begin removing one half here. Okay, so first of all, guys, when you first open the pattern, you will see annotation like this. If you don't see it, go to information and then go to this annotation icon, click on to turn on or off, up to you. And if we look at closely here, we have the internal line and we have notches and we have this point. So I will point out a little bit later because right here we have this sleeve, but we have the puffy sleeve. And this point right here is important. We want to leave on there. And I will show you when I'm sewing these tops. And right now, let's remove one half of the pattern. So when it come to remove one half of the pattern, how would we know which half to remove? All right, so first of all, let me point out it. So if you guys purchase the pattern from me, you will see the pattern lay like this most of the time. One pattern, like top pattern, for example, I will have front bodice, sleeve left, back bodice, and so on. So to know which half we want to remove here, when we first open, we see first sleeve and second sleeve. First sleeve here, that's important. We want to leave everything next to that first sleeve. For example, this side of the pattern going to be keep. This side of the pattern going to be keep. So we only need to remove this half. So we will use this as a pattern tool here. And what we're going to do, we can either click right here and then cut, or we can remove some part. However, I'm going to do that though. Simply click on that pattern there. And as you can see right here, when I click on the pattern, it doesn't let me and have the internal line pop up. That because we have two internal lines instead of one. So we can select any of these internal line here, one, and then right click, and then we want to select cut, just like that. And then, Come down here, do the same here, click right here once again. Or in this case, we can remove one of the internal line. Click on that internal line and press on the delete and backspace on the keyboard to delete. And now if we just click on that internal line once again. Okay, so I will use this tool here, edit pattern tool. Click on that internal line and then I'm going to press on the delete and backspace on the keyboard to delete. Now I'm going to click once again. The option does not show anymore because I only have one internal line here to vote as well. Next, all I need to do here, right click and then select cut. Just like that. And let's remove this half here. Okay. Simply select them, right click, and then we want to select delete. All right. And we'll do the same here. Click on that internal line, select one, right click, and then select cut. Do the same right here. Right click and then select cut. Next, let's remove the pattern we don't need. And we also need to remove this sleeve too. We don't need it. Okay, so now we only have one half of the pattern that we need to worry about. The same right here. Okay, first of all, always, always, guys, go to file and then save your file first before you continue. Okay, so go to save as and then save as project. And then I'm going to name this by uh, Peplum 
Control Pen Skirt. And then I'm going to select Save. And almost always, guys, when you first save your clove project, save it as a project file. That's where you can go in and then edit how you like, okay? Next, we are going to remove this half of the skirt. Once again, we're going to move this half and this half. Leave the inside half. I'm going to try this. Kind of select the two point right there. Press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay, so now this is, doesn't work. What happened, I did not have this point here. If I have this point split, that doesn't really make a mess like that. So I'm going to Command or Control plus letter Z to undo. And let me show you the option that works. Okay, so right here I have this internal line. I'm going to right click and then select right here. Add slash trim to point pattern outline. So now we have the point here. So let me delete this internal line here so we get to see it better. And after that, I can my key select this point here. Press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard. And now this delete halfway is perfect. Delete half the pattern, which is excellent. That's what we want. I can still do the same here. How will do? Whichever way you choose to do is fine. However, though, we try to figure out which way that would save us so much time and what's not. So if we click on this and right click and then select cut, save us more time, we rather do that. And press on the delete. Same right here, click right here, right click and then select cut. So in case, like what I just did, instead of select just internal line, I select the entire thing. And then when I look for cut option, I don't see it. So that's another tip that I want to point out in close. If you're in the wrong tool or you select the wrong thing, then next thing you know, the option that you're looking for doesn't appear. So we want to select this edit pattern tool here and then click on that internal line, right click, and now I can select cut to cut the pattern. Next, I'm going to simply click on that pattern right there, right click, select delete, and do the same right here. Click, and now I can also press on shift, click right here, and then click right here, right click, and then select cut for multiple pattern pieces, okay? Now, as you can see right here, we cut all the pattern pieces at once. I'm going to delete them now, the one we don't need, okay. All right, so next we are going to place this pattern onto the avatar. And before we're gonna do that, I'm going to press on Command or Control plus letter S to save. By the way, guys, I will have a pattern making video with this top right here, peplum top. It's pretty cute, guy. And after I apply the knit fabric on, that looks super amazing. All right, so next we're going to place this pattern on to the avatar. To do so, first we will come up here to this avatar icon and then come over here, click on the show arrangement point. Um, we want to place front pattern onto the avatar first. Click and then hover the mouse over the avatar there. And then I'm going to Let's try this, see if it works. Yeah, we'll place that later. Then I'm going to come over here and click on the sleeve, then click one right here to place the sleeve and then back pattern, click right there. All right, so after that, I'm going to sew this pattern. To sew the pattern, I will use these two tools. One is segment sewing tool. We can begin sewing the sleeve seam and side seam, okay. And then shoulder. Let's zoom in a little. So now we are going to sew this sleeve. So as you can see right here, I have this point and this point and notches and this point to this point. So I'm going to use this free sewing tool here. Begin sewing from this point here. Hover the mouse to the right. Click one right there to end. Press on shift. Then click one right here. Click right here. Click right here and right here. And now release the shift key. And now we sew this perfect sleeve cap. Next, we want to sew right here. I can simply click and then sew like this. Hover down here, click on sew like this. Just like that. Okay, and now we just sew the sleeve and the bodice. Okay, next we want to sew the peplum to the bodice hem. All right, to do so, I will use this segment sewing tool. Click one right here to start and click one right here. The same right here and right here. Okay, so we want to use one function here. That's super useful, guys. Okay? Let me expand this window a little. We want to click on the pattern here and then come over here. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to click one right here and then select the superimpose side. Next, we'll do the same right here with the back pattern. Let's sew this, use this segment sewing tool. Click right there to sew. And now 
let click on that pattern pieces, right click, and we want to select superimpose eye. And there it is. All right. So next we are going to make a copy. Okay. To make a copy with this, I'm going to my key select all the pattern pieces, right click, and we want to select symmetric pattern with sewing. And I'm going to press on shift, click one right there to place the pattern. Next, we want to sew the center together. Okay. Same right here, center front with center front, and peplum to peplum. Perfect. Next, lid, freeze the skirt for now. And I also want to hide it. And lid, simulate. There it is, guy. And lid, strengthen, and then simulate one more time and see how the pattern fit. So the pattern fitting pretty well. So first of all, guys, based on this top, this is a knit fabric, a knit top pattern. So everything gonna fit a little tight and then we're gonna slip on. Okay, so we got this tinkle here. We have to fix that. To fix that, I'm going to press on number two here. Click right there on that sleeve, right click. And we want to select reset 3D arrangement select. And now I'm going to simulate one more time. So now we fix. Next lid has on number two here to see the front pattern. And I sew some part and not some part right here. We want to also sew it together. So to sew that, we'll either sew it in the 3D or 2D. I'm going to sew it in this 2D. I will click one right there and then click right here to sew to. Then simulate. There it is. And stop the simulation. Also, lid and strengthen, and then simulate again. And there it is. Okay, so as you can see, the sleeve right there it work perfectly fine when we sew it from this point to this point. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, the easy way to dress this pattern, we would sew the skirt first. However, though I didn't do that. I sewed the top first. Now we have to go back and then arrange these to lay one and then this skirt to lay zero. I will show you how to do that. All right, so next lid, come in and then sew the skirt. To sew the skirt, I'm going to, my case select this skirt right here and then select show 3D pattern, right click and then once again, unfreeze. So when the pattern freeze guy, the pattern doesn't fall to the floor. That's what it does. And it just stay freeze in one area. So when we unfreeze them now, the pattern is active again. Now I'm going to begin sewing this good. Okay. We'll use the segment sewing tool. Click one right there and sew it here. Just like that. And then sew from here to here, from here to here. And we are going to place them onto the avatar. So I'm going to simply hide this pattern here. So come down here to hide 3D pattern. And we want to come over here and turn on the show arrangement point and we're going to place this skirt. Click one right there to place right here. And click right there. And then adjust it out a little. And right here, I'm going to right click on that pattern and then select super impulse eye. Perfect. I will do the same here. Click on that pattern, right click, and then select super impose eye. Okay, now we are going to sew these. I'm going to sew these facing onto the skirt. Simply click one right there and then click right here. Click right here and then right here. And the same right here, the top to the top part, bottom to the bottom part, right there. And after that, I'm going to my key, select that, and come to this 3D window. Right click and then select super impose under. All right, one more here, click on it, right click and select super impose under. Okay, next we are going to make a copy. Once again, my case selects all that skirt pattern pieces. Right click and select symmetric pattern with sewing. I'm going to press on shift and then click one right there to place the pattern. 
and release the shape. And now we're going to sew the center together. Center and center. Same right here, center front, but center front. All right, next, lid, simulate. I'm going to strengthen this. Okay, as you can see right here, the skirt is a little bit suffering because the top is right underneath it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, my case select the top, right click and then select show 3D pattern. And I'm going to come over here to the property editor, okay? And I'm going to change that to layer one. So scroll down here until you see layer and then type in layer one, press return into on the keyboard and then click on OK. And I'm going to simulate here. So as you can see right here, now the top kind of pop above the skirt. And with that color, it's show that that top right there is in layer one. Just like that. And let's see the back. It looks pretty good. And once again, lid. Hide is good. One more time. Choose me. Hide the top. Right click. Select. High 3D pattern, and I'm going to simulate the skirt one more time here. Let hide the avatar. I want to see. So the skirt fitting pretty well, guy. However, we need to sew the size seam on the peplum, which I'm going to come over here use this segment sewing tool. So we only need to sew one side. Now let's simulate. There you go. And let's stop the simulation and press on number two to see the front view. And next, I'm going to unstrengthen the skirt and simulate again. And there it is. So the skirt actually looks pretty amazing as well as the top. By the way, guys, the skirt I draft them with my traditional drafting pattern method. So they fit really well. The same with the top. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to let apply the fabric onto the skirt first. So I have my fabric, which is woven denim stretch. I'm going to apply onto the skirt here. So to do that, we'll double click on the fabric folder and then type in the search here. Uh, let's type in just stretch for the keyword and then tap and then press on return into on the keyboard to search. I'm going to. Okay, so I apply the woven denim stretch fabric onto the skirt fabric. So right there. So, okay, first of all, when I drag and drop over here, I know only apply onto the skirt. Let me show you. I'm going to show the... So I also apply onto the top, okay? However, though, we can create another fabric for top. But instead of creating a fabric for it, I will grab the fabric from there. So I also have my fabric there. It's knit cotton jersey. So I'm going to type in knit cotton jersey. Press search. Okay, it doesn't show. I misspelled the word. Who do you want to message? Hmm. Let's type in it and then see what happens. All right. So I can simply click here, find knit cotton. So knit cotton. Let's expand that window, that tab a little. So I have right here knit cotton. Oh, let's try this. Simply click, drag, and drop onto the object browser tab here. And I'm going to my key selects all the top patterns and click on that assign fabric button right there to assign the fabric on to the top. If I change the top right here, let's click on simulate. If I change, as you can see right here, the fabric property is changed. If I change the layer back to zero, let me show you. And then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Now the fabric is applied onto that top right there. Okay. And let's simulate again. And the skirt is right beneath the top as it belongs, which is perfect. That's what we want. However, though, I want to change the different property here. Although that's not bad. Let's strengthen all the pattern first and then simulate. That's amazing. Right there. Another trick or tip that I want to mention here, we can unstrengthen certain pattern here. Let's say I want to unstrengthen here, 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 right click, and then unstrengthen. And I'm going to simulate. 
just like that. So as you can see right here, now we have these peplum is hanging the way it is and the top right here are strengthened, which is perfect. Because certain area we wanted to have the flow appear and certain we want to have like a little bit tighter fit look. All right, let me press on number two here. And next guy, we are going to apply the stripe fabric, which is seamless repeat knit fabric guy, this amazing pattern. Okay, so let me unstring turn all of it. And let apply the, I also want to change the avatar post. Let go to avatar because I, and then female and pose. I will select post number two here and then click on okay. So it actually look much better for the kind of design. I want to see the sleeve here, like puffy sleeve, which is looks pretty awesome. And press on number two to see the front view. Okay, so next we're gonna apply the stripe onto this. Let strengthen and then simulate one more time here. Stop the simulation. And okay, so we are going to apply the texture right here. I have the double stripe Josie knit. Double click on the folder. Okay, so somehow my folder kind of missed it. I'm going to remove that folder. Simply click on it, right click and then select delete. And click on yes. I'm going to link the photo again. So I'm going to link the folder again. Simply click on plus sign here. And then come to my folder and right here. This is five stripe double jersey knit. Click on open and double click on that folder. Okay, so right here, guys, this is the swatches. I have navy blue, I have blue, yellow, red. And over here, this is the seamless repeat knit texture pattern. Okay, although it looks tiny, but if I click, drag and drop onto this pattern here, Okay, click on okay. So first of all, let me unstrengthen all of it so you can see. Okay, so right here. So because the fabric that I have is pink color, even though it is blue, it looks kind of pink is. So I'm going to simply add a different fabric that has white color. And I'm going to show you that. Double click on that fabric folder and type in knit. And then come down here, let's select one dot. Wait, so this one right here. I'm going to click, drag and drop onto this browser. And my key selects all on that top pattern and then click on this assign button right there. And I'm going to simulate it again here to see the effects. And we'll come back. Be sure to clear this search box first. And then double click on that fabric folder to open. And I'm going to simply click and drag that fabric once again, that texture, sorry. And now as you can see right here, this is full blown weight and I'm going to click on okay. So by the way, guy, this fabric right here is seamless repeat knit fabric, super high quality seamless repeat. It's amazing guy. When you guys download them and then use them. So this fabric here, I have the white stripe 30 centimeter and the blue stripe 1.2 centimeter stripe. Okay. And the sleeve part. You can leave it as bias like that, or you can rotate it to a different angle if you want to. For example, if I come over here to this edit texture tool, then click on that sleeve there and I can select and rotate to pretty much cross grain like that if I want to, however you like, depend on your design and then adjust to fit right here, the stripe. That is perfect. And at the same time, I can also scale the pattern. Click on that and then click on this gizmo here drag it backward like that to scale it down and then drag it up to scale it up, okay? So how are you like? And let's say I want to have a different color on that top. I can simply change the tool to select slash move tool first and then click on that right there, that pattern, that texture that I have, click, drag and drop onto the top. And here you go, click on okay. Now I have totally different color of the striped knit pattern. And guy, as you can see right here, if I zoom in close up, it's super detail oriented and smooth.
It's amazing. Okay, so next we want to apply the binding onto the next here as well as merge this pattern together. So because the pattern we have earlier was only one piece for the front bodice and one piece for the bag as well as for the peplum, okay? So we are going to merge these pattern together. To merge the pattern together, it's super easy, guys. Let me come over here. We are going to, okay, so one thing that I want to mention here before we merge in the pattern. So if we want the pattern to be here and then merge this side over here, we want to click on this side. Okay, let me show you. Click on this edit pattern tool. Click right here. We want to click on the pattern outline. Right click and then select merge. And wait for it. So now the pattern merge. However, opposite, if you want to come over here and then click on this side and then you select merge, now the pattern will jump over here. So we don't want that. We want the pattern jump to this side. So I'm going to continue to click on this side right here. Right click and then select merge again. And the pattern will jump to this side, just like that. And right here, it's already next to each other. So once again, click on this side and click on the pattern outline. Right click and then select merge. And send the pattern are linked together, only have to click it one. If, for example, if the pattern are not linked together, you have to click right here, press on shift, click right here, and then merge. But send the pattern are linked, I can just click right here, click on the pattern outline, right click, and then select merge. Just like that. And now the pattern are merged together perfectly. The same with the skirt. Okay, so let's simulate a little here. We kind of get a little messed up. Okay. And as you can see right here, guys, the seamless repeat knit fabrics is flawless. It's super, super awesome. Okay, next we are going to also move this good. Okay, don't forget, Rosie, we have to save it. Command or control plus letter S to save the pattern. Or to save the project in this case. Because we not only save the pattern, we also save everything in it, including the texture. All right. Next, we are going to merge the skirt as well. Unless you want like, okay, a back zipper, you're going to add a zipper in the back. But for in this case, we are going to imagine the skirt here a slip on this fabric. And we don't need any zipper or anything. Simply slip on and slip off. How about though? In this case, I probably don't need to merge it because we don't have to. But if you want to, you can. All right. So next, I'm going to... Another thing I want to point out, though, I wouldn't want to dress the peplum top with a peplum skirt. That's a little much. I would suggest dress the avatar with a peplum top. And down here could be straight skirt or pencil skirt because they would go together. If you do both peplum skirt and top, it's just a little much. If you dress the peplum skirt, I would recommend either tuck in or crop top. If you this slim, looks like a, if you don't mind showing off your body in the summer, I would recommend like crop top, something like that. Or if you want to wear like a, a little at work or something, maybe tuck in the top tuck in right here with the peplum skirt, that would be cute. All right. So next, let's apply the binding onto the top. To apply the binding, guy Clo has this binding tool. We are going to simply click on this binding tool here and let's hide the avatar. You can do it without hiding it, but I like hide the avatar to do it. Click one to start, continue clicking. So click in and then when you end right here, double click twice. And now it is applying the binding. Okay, so generally when I bring in the fabric, I 
would or should create a copy of the different kind of fabric unless you want to apply the binding the same as the fabric you have. But in this case, I want to apply this fabric white color, not stripe. To do that, first, let's go to this edit binding tool first and come up here to the property editor. We want to change the binding width here to one centimeter. Press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. And we also want to change the binding type here to both. You can change it both or under or over up to you, but in this design, both is the appropriate. Okay, now come down here. If I look at this fabric, I can click on the sub menu here and then find out what fabric I want to select. And none of this fabric I want. So I'm going to leave it as if for now. And let's simulate here. All right, next, let's change the fabric. That doesn't look cool at all. Let me double click on that fabric folder and I'm going to type in knit again and then click one. Click this knit, drag and drop into browser. And I'm going to come down here to this binding tool, edit binding tool. Click on that binding, come over here to the proper editor and change that fabric to this knit fleece terry. Then click on the simulation icon to simulate. Stop the simulation. And let's name this fabric here, binding, and here, top, down here, screwed, just like that. And we can now really delete this one, we don't need it. So, so far we have three fabric, one for binding, one for top, and one for skirt. All right, so let's show the avatar here. So there you go. Now we have this cute peplum top with the skirt and dress it onto the avatar. Let's see if I show the avatar. Got it. And let's turn on this high quality rendering mode here so we get to see more in depth. Press on number two here. All right, so next let's change the particle distance here all to 10. So by the way, guys, I would recommend change it to five if your computer can handle it. Right now, my computer is a little hot, so I'm going to drop it down to 10. And as long as you have 10, it's decent enough quality. You get to see how the garment fit and looks. Unless the pattern piece is really small, then change it to 5. But right now, I'm going to change everything to 10. And as you can see right here, it's quite smooth and look beautiful with the dress. Excuse me, with the top and skirt. Okay, and finally, if we want, we can go in and then apply the new annotation because we have sleeve here left, we will remove that, change that to right, and then here we can merge them and then change the annotation and so on. Okay, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Encode Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.